here. And today, I got myself a new 3D printer. It's a Creality, and it is a CR uh, 10S, and it's the CR 10S Pro. So it's the newest one. So I'm trying to get it out of the box and get it up onto my workbench here in my little studio. I've been looking forward to getting this um, for some time now, um, or actually any 3D printer for a while now. Um, there's so many projects I've wanted to do, but I've been limited to, as to what I could do um, because I've never, you know, I'm not a, I've never worked with metals and stuff like that. Like I've never been able to kind of form the things that I want to do. And some of those things have to do with fish tanks. Um, other things have to do with uh, like my aquaponic system in my backyard for my YouTube channel, uh, Home Farm Ideas. And then for my fish tank channel, it's uh, youtube.com, the fish tank. Uh, this video, I'm going to put it on all three channels that I'm going to be working with the 3D printer on. And then Home Science Ideas. So there's a lot of different things that I've wanted to, to, to create and I was looking for a good 3D printer and this one seems to be right up my alley for the right price. It was probably, with taxes and everything, it was probably about $640. Um, and there are some tweaks that I'm going to have to make to it in order to get it up to par um, and um, you know have it working to, to, um, to where it's, it's, it's good. So there's one thing on this that I've read about. I don't know that it will be with this one because it, it's been a while, but um, the sensor, the, the bed leveling sensor, it, it's not good on this. Um, so that's something I, I was aware of when I purchased it. Not to say that they're not going to cover it because I'm sure they will um, if there's an issue, but I might have to upgrade eventually. And then the other thing is, is that the, uh, the, I don't know what the bar is in the middle, but basically that gets a little off and so you have to tweak it in a certain way to where you can uh, always have that level as well. So as time goes by and I'm, I have this thing, I'm going to learn more about it and then I'm going to show you guys what I've learned. So uh, let's try to get this set up today and hopefully do a test print. Alright, so this is not really an official unboxing, but I'm just going to show you guys um, the unit so lots of styrofoam really well packed I liked it um, came came pretty fast too it was like I don't know super fast it got here so which I like that because who wants seven hundred dollars flying around out there well not seven hundred but you know what I mean with taxes and all that stuff I mean it just felt like I spent seven hundred bucks so Trying to see how to get this out of here without causing a problem for myself. All right. Come on now. Okay. All right. Let me put this up on my desk where I'm going to have the printer and this as well and then I'll go to the next shot. Don't really like the fact that there's dust on it already. That kind of freaks me out. Then there's that and it's a roll of filament and instructions <clears throat> and what's in the box let's see what's in the box as you can see I <laughs> I'm ready I'm off I'm off work so got cables power cable too got some tools kind of neat let's see some hardware. These are the four screws that I think uh, put the, uh, and there's an extra tip in there. Cool. That's awesome. An extra filament tip. And then USB card and some other stuff. 
to get my things off the the heating bed and then uh, I'm sure this is the uh, the uh, spool holder and then this wire actually I don't know what this is I think this uh, is meant for the filament to go through I'm not sure but looking good and then one more thing I wanted to open this because I wanted to see what else is inside here Oh, cool. Cutters. That's awesome. So, just in case you want to kind of deburr the thing. You know, when you're printing, too, I've noticed um, you'll get, like, spider webbing and stuff. Um, but you can fix your settings on your printer. And eventually that stuff will start to go away. Um, but I'm going to buy a heat gun just to make sure that I can clean up my parts really good. Um, you'll see the spider webbing stuff when I get this thing going and I'm doing more videos on it. So anyway, I'm going to put it together and show you guys something printing. So sorry about the lighting in here, you guys. I don't have any lighting set up because I, it's hard for me to figure it out. I'm not a studio person. So, but anyways, um, I need to install these rack screws. This is basically kind of it. You, um, you install four screws to hold this up here. Okay, this thing onto that. And so basically, it kind of reminds me of a Volkswagen. I mean, Volkswagens, you have to take out four screws in order to change out the engine. Well, hopefully we don't have to change out this engine. So I'm going to go ahead and install those. All right, so as you can see, I got it all installed. You want to make sure that your bed's more level. Um, and when I mean your bed's level, I mean not only this side, but you want your other side to be just as leveled. And they gave me this piece right here to, um, you know, make sure the uh, Z or excuse me, the X axis is um, adjusted just right. So you want it. At, this is a hundred millimeter acrylic. I think it's acrylic. Maybe they three. I think it's acrylic though. But basically, you just put that in there, and you don't put it out here. You put it right against the bed first, and then you slide it under there until it's, it's supposed to be tight, okay? It's supposed to be just like that, and it's supposed to be tight. Now, if you need to tighten it or you need to loosen it, you would just turn the actual screw that's just on the back of here. You just turn it with your hand, okay? Either which way, and then uh, that will raise or lower this side right here, and then uh, you put that under there, and if it's good then it's it's all good right so you do that on the other side as well now we got to hook up the motors so I'll try to do this without the tweezers but if I need to I use the tweezers all right well most of the way on there we go all right let's do the other side this one's a little more difficult to get to And upside down, maybe. Yeah, I think I am. Here we go. There we go. Got it most of the way in. Now, if this will help me here. That should be all right. All right, there we go. Okay, and then finally we want to install the ribbon cable. This thing here. This thing that is called the ribbon cable. Alright. Enough with the jokey jokes, right? I guess it's supposed to yeah, snap in on this end. There we go. And that locks it in place. Now it's time to give this thing some power. Let's go ahead and turn it on. Uh-oh, we got a little smoke coming from the back. I'm kidding, of course. Reality! <laughs> Alright, there we go. All right, it's looking good. Here we are at two hours now. So, 
my test mutt looks pretty good. Here we are at three hours and everything seems to still be looking really good on the print. Uh, these right here are just supports. Uh, those get broken off later on when we're done here, but yeah, looks good so far. So we're now at five hours and almost 30 minutes. It'll be done soon. Uh, unfortunately, I'm going somewhere, so I will get back to you guys when this thing is completely done and show you the results. Okay, we are just about done. I was able to stay a little longer. It's just doing his hair on top, I guess. Now we're just at 5 hours and 47 minutes. And we're at 99%. So any second now it should be done. Right off the bat, I mean, I'm just shocked. There it is. I'm just shocked that I can do anything like this. Um, this to me is amazing. So I went to the back of the bed. I don't know why it's doing that yet. Uh, the tip is now cooling off. I can see the nozzle tip is cooling off. And yeah, it says on the screen, finish print. I'm gonna go ahead and click that. And I don't know if it's supposed to come forward or what, but that is the finished print. Let's get this off. Let's see if I can get it off this way first. Yep. So that part on the bottom is just the base. So that's supposed to break away, as far as I know. <laughs> and then you have the supports, which already fell off the mouth. Okay, and these as well here. So I'll clean it up a lot better later with a heat gun. Let me pull off just all this here. Yeah, that stuff breaks away really easily. So, but yeah, look at that. And this is just for art purposes. Um, I'm not into art really. I'm more into functionality. So I'm probably gonna be printing parts and birdhouses and all kinds of different stuff. So, yeah. Now I'm gonna have my daughter um, paint this thing after I clean it up. So anyways, that is the uh, first 3D print I've ever done. Uh, if you guys like this video, hit the thumbs up. Uh, if you want to see more content like this, hit the thumbs up and uh, let me know, you guys. Comment section below, tell me. What do you want to see me print? Um, do you want to see me print stuff from my farm channels, uh, my fish tank channel? I got a lot of ideas for that as well. And then my science channel. Um, I'm going to put this video on all three channels. So let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Join me on Instagram. All the links for all the pages will be below. All right? So God bless you guys, and like always, peace.